How's it going? Hi, good morning. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what this cream makeup is. Like, why cream makeup? I've never used cream makeup before. It's been used on me um, in my career of television and modeling, but I've never personally used it, anything you think about it. All I knew was the traditional liquid foundations. That's all I've ever used, right? What I have learned is those liquid foundations will turn to powder, which is why when it sets in your wrinkles, you tend to look kind of cakey because it's it's turned to a dry substance, right? One of the things that I do, this is just lip balm from Saint. I actually put this under my eye before I put my makeup on. Now I already have on moisturizer and um, under eye cream prior to that, but I just do that just to give it a little bit of uh, easier movement as I put it on. So the way it works with this cream makeup is we do a color match. I'll do a color match on your skin. So I'm gonna blend your beard area to your neck, which is really important because you wanna be able to blend you know, it seamlessly down. And sometimes there's cute ladies that don't really have much of a jawline. So it's really important that this skin matches the neck, right? Then the next area is what, kind of like a ski mask. It comes up in this area and around here. I don't actually put any foundation right in this area because I'm already gonna put contour and bronzer and blush. So I don't need to layer any more color that's not necessary. So we have this color in here, next. And then we have a pop. So this is the brightest color. And that goes down the nose, right under the eye. And I actually put, um, I put this over my eye as just a base. I have sunspots, because I'm old, y'all. I have sunspots, and so it just kind of gives me an even finish for my eyeshadows. So let's just apply some of this stuff. Okay, now that it's been applied, I'm burnt myself there, y'all. I gotta cover that up. It doesn't hurt anymore, but yeah, I can lay the curling iron on that. So you saw me take the color all the way down here. I actually have a scar right here from cancer. Um, and I have age spots and sun spots and stuff like that. So I just put a little bit down from this color onto my neck. Um, I don't do it in a way that's gonna get on my clothes, but I just wanna blend that. So now I'm gonna use, this is the detail brush. Okay, these Saint brushes are actually designed for easy blending of this cream makeup. If you used a traditional brush that's um, wide like this, see the difference? You're not gonna get the same coverage and it's going to um, kind of feather it out and fluff it out. If you want a more airy um, finish, then that's a good idea. Okay, so if you noticed, I didn't put anything on the cheek area. It doesn't matter if you do blend it, if it's on the brush, it doesn't matter. It's just, I don't wanna put extra makeup there that's not gonna be needed. So now that I've blended everything with the detail brush, I'm actually gonna go in, this is a Perfector sponge. I really like this sponge because it's super dense. Some sponges move when you put them to your face, they get squishy and they bend out and they move. This one actually keeps its shape. And all I'm doing is I'm just pressing and blending these colors out. Now, when you get a color match, they're gonna be really similar. You're gonna be like, I don't even know if there's a difference. There is a difference in the shades, um, and it's subtle, and that's, that's the way it should be, right? We want it to be nice and blending. I still can't cover up that area, but we'll pretend it's not there. <laughs> I don't wanna get crazy on it. Okay, so now everything is all blended, and that is the process of putting on this 3D makeup. Super simple, here's the beauty of it. It feels like skin. It doesn't feel like it's heavy, it doesn't stink, it doesn't, uh, y'all, I'm from Texas, I have been in the Texas heat. I don't sweat any normally, I mean, any more than I do normally um, with or without makeup, so it allows your skin to breathe. So I've applied my contour, the color is called indigo, and I just did it right at my cheekbones and around my hairline a little bit down my nose and run at my jawline just with what's left on it, on the brush. This is the powder brush from Saint. See the difference of the ends? 
This one's kind of an angle. I like this brush because I want that contour to stay in one spot. I don't want to go everywhere, right? That's the reason why you do a contour is to chisel out um, a shadow in a certain area. If I use this brush, that color would travel everywhere uh, and that would not give me a definite line of what I'm going for. Okay, that is just a little bit of sculpting on the face. It's kind of like a little facelift, okay? It's not nothing crazy, it's not a lot. I don't put a lot of product on there. And again, this area now is starting to have some color that I didn't put any of the foundation on. Now bronzer, why bronzer? Bronzer is kind of like your sunshine. Hey y'all, it's January. We all need a little sunshine, right? Um, and so you can place your bronzer in different places. You could place it all over in this area. We'll just do that today, okay? As if like there's that's where your sunshine is. I also like to go down a little bit more on my forehead and temples. Just think if you were driving down the road in your car and that sun was coming in on the window, it's gonna get you right in here, right? And then just maybe a little bit down on the neck. Now I'm gonna take the small end of the blush and bronzer brush, just gonna blend it out. If you do put your bronzer around your nose like I'm doing, I'll show you a little trick to make it look even more natural with the sun when we go to put the blush on. Because these are creams, they blend really easily. So you're not pulling on your skin. Okay, now I have that. Okay, now a little bit of cheek color. So because we applied that bronzer right in this area, it wouldn't make sense to put a bunch of cheek color up here because this looks like well, this is where the sun's getting me, right? So if you were freshly outside, you came in, you had a little color in your skin from the sun, it would probably happen right here. It's not gonna happen necessarily up there. So I'm gonna place this color, it's just a little bit of pink. It's a sheer, so it's not crazy. I'm gonna place it right here, okay? Same brush, didn't have to wash it, and I'm just tapping it in place. Just kind of putting it right where it was. If you've gone up too high and you're like, oh no, I've got too much color under there, just come back with the brush that you blended your original highlights with and touch it up. Okay, so one thing you're gonna need to do with this cream makeup is you're gonna need to set it. Either you set it with a setting powder or you set it with a setting spray. But before I do that, I wanna do my eyebrows because I wanna powder over my eyebrows just to kind of meet them out. I had this lady nicely point out to me, your eyebrows are crooked. I know, this one's lower than that one. Um, so what I like to do is I'm just using this eyeshadow. It's, um, I think this one's Trust. It's from Saint, it's just a brown eyeshadow. Um, I put a little bit on an angled brush. I'm gonna start in the center. And the reason why I'm starting in the center on the bottom line, if I started down here and say I had too much on my brush, it's gonna be harder for me to move and blend. So I'm just following the outline of my brows, okay? And then this area here, so this area obviously is lower than this one. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the top. Not going crazy, I'm not gonna look like I'm questioning everybody, what? But I'm just gonna build it up just a little bit. And when I get towards the center, I mean this end part right here, there's no hair there, y'all. It's just ink. Because this is an angled brush, that angle I'm going to use to my benefit. So I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna tap it right on the edge and do like a, like a tiny little brush stroke, like, like it was hair. Okay, so I just filled that part in. Now I gotta do the other side. For those of you gals that are in the over 50 club, like myself, if your eyebrow comes really far down, you don't necessarily wanna take it down that far. 
Here's why. It will make you look like you're sad. Okay, you want to pull everything up and out. So I like to stop mine in a place that I know that line from the outside corner of my eyelid is going to follow up. I don't want to come down any farther than that. Okay, now I'm coming in for the, the real surgery here. I've had many makeup artists tell me your eyebrows are are sisters not twins or cousins not twins so it's okay cute lady on tiktok it's okay that they're not normally even i don't really care okay now i see that this one's a little too crazy so i'm just gonna kind of clean her up a little bit Okay, now they're pretty dark right now, which I don't want that look. So I'm just gonna um, powder over them as I have gonna powder out the rest of my face. Saint Nick's a really good setting powder. It's called Vanilla Dusting Powder. I'm gonna use the big end of the blush and bronzer brush just for my powders, right? So I'm gonna actually do the whole eye, including the eyebrow. The reason why I wanna do the whole eye is because it's going to set and be a good foundation or eyeshadow okay so I don't want my eyeshadow colors to start moving around because the cream obviously is creamy so the reason why you want to set your makeup and you could use a setting spray Saint makes a really good setting spray um, I like a more matte finish so I'm gonna go with um, the powder so I actually go over every everything everything this powder right here I broke so I'm trying to trying to not have junkies in there okay so now everything is all nice and muted and blended and it's ready to go so cheeks are all done now um, I'm gonna do my eyes okay so this color is Claire. It's a really pretty, um, I don't know, it's kind of a, it's in the pink peach family, so it's a really good neutral. It can go with any, like, no matter what color you have on your cheeks. And remember, I'm kind of going for that, just been out in the sun, so I don't want to go super crazy on my eyes. This is my favorite brush. This is the eyeshadow brush. All the sink brushes are double-ended, and I'm going to apply it with a small end. So I just tapped it in there. I'm going to start right above that brow bone. Right, not in the crease because um, as we get older, our eyes sink in, we wanna bring them out. So if I focused on everything in that deep dark cave right there, it's just gonna make my eyes look even smaller. Okay, so I've just placed it. I'm not coming any farther than right here. I'm actually not even coming farther than right here because I'm gonna turn the brush over. When I start to blend it, it's okay if some color travels out a little bit because I haven't placed too much of it there. If I placed a large amount there and then I try to blend it out, it's gonna be harder to control, okay? So, just kind of doing a windshield, right, 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 back and forth. Then whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna come under my eye. Y'all will see me do this a lot. Um, I'm not a big fan of a harsh liner line on me so I like to soften it up with some eyeshadow, okay? So really this color is not super major, it's not super important, it's kind of like a base. So I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay. I sadly dropped my palette and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 broken eyeshadows. So I'm gonna be doing a video on how to fix those. But for now, they're just on my counter being all messy. So um, I'm gonna use one of those broken ones. No, I'm not, because I can't lift it up to show you what color it is. All right, so I'm actually gonna use, this is the new shade. It's one of the new shades that's out this month from the 007 collection. It's called Skyfall. 
It's really pretty. It's kind of a um, it's kind of a taupe. It's kind of a taupe with a little bit of shimmer. So the reason why I like this color is because when it goes on, it shows up as your dark, but it's not like it's good enough for day. You know what I'm saying? It's not a, a terribly dark, smoky color that it's going to look out of place during the daytime. So if you notice, I placed it right in this outer corner, okay? And then I carried that color all the way down under here. And I'm going to turn it over. Again, I'm using that same brush. That's the beauty of when you find a brush you, you, you like, you don't have to clean it every time. But, I mean, like, if I were going to wear a really uh, terracotta color and I have pink on it from before, well, yeah, I'm going to clean it and they have a really great, um, instant brush cleaner that you just spray on a microfiber um, cloth and you rub it on there and it's magic. But for now, um, I'm good. Okay, so I've just added a little dimension. Can you see how this color is now bringing the eye out where this one this is not doing anything, y'all? Not yet. Okay, so let's go in and do the same thing on this eye. The purpose of this little brush here is just to get the color on there. I'm not necessarily blending it, I'm just applying it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna turn it over, and that's what I'm gonna make it pretty. Okay, there's that. To really bring your eyes up and out, you need to add some light on the center. If I took that dark color and went all the way in, it's gonna pull my eye in, which is not a, it's not a bad look. It definitely is something you can do. But by the time I put lashes on, I don't want that dark of a look. Plus it's daytime, so I just kinda of wanna do something a little more simple. This color on here is Rome, and it's a lighter shade, it's a shimmer, and I'm just putting it right on this inner part, right in there, right? So it's just kinda of blending it out. Whatever's left over, I'm just gonna place down my nose as a highlight. Um, another lady said to me, you shouldn't wear shimmers, you're over 50. I don't really care. So there you have it, I'm just gonna wear my shimmers. Okay, so now I have that. All right, all right. Now, this other end, this is the multitasker brush for the eyes. I love this brush. I've talked about this before, see this paddle in? It is perfect for placing this color right here. The reason why, if I used a big fluffy brush like this, it's gonna take that color up higher than I want it to, but this one keeps it right where it needs to be. Okay, um, Black Friday. Y'all use this every day. This is like toothpaste of the eye for me. Uh, every day, so it is a cream eyeliner. I like this a lot because you can work with it. When you put an eye pencil on sometimes, it is permanent, meaning it doesn't move very well. It's not permanent, you can wash it off, but I'm just saying you can't blend it as well. This is a gel cream and you can definitely move it. So I'm using the small end of the multitasker brush and I'm just gently drawing a line, not farther than here. I don't wanna go all the way in Okay, this is a daytime look, so I don't need it to go too crazy. You'll see me do this a lot, so I'll close my eyes and pull that brush. This is kind of, I'm closing it at the corner where the lids meet, I'm pulling it out. Make sense? And then I'm just gonna fill in the gap, come right down to the lash line, fill it in. So, see, I have more definition because of Black Friday. Okay, so now that I have Black Friday on, I always go over it with, this is the MAC, um, it's actually called, what's it called? It's 24 hour liner, it's an eyeliner, okay? And what I'm gonna do, it's because it's a, a pen, it's wet, right? So I, when I feel that on my lash line, then I'm gonna get going with it. So I just kinda come into the middle area, I'm just gonna follow that line. It's kind of like when you color, if you've gone outside the line a little bit and then you come back in and you outline something, it makes it all better. 
takes away the mistakes. So even if you don't apply your Black Friday perfectly, you can clean it up with this guy. Now, see how I have extended past this corner area? This is where my eyelids meet, but I pulled that color up and out. Why? Because if I followed my eyeball line, my uh, lid line, it's going to make me look sad because my eyes go like this. So again, we're always pulling up and out so that you're, you look happy because you are. Okay, so I put mascara on. Um, I didn't go crazy, didn't put a ton on. I just needed a little bit, just so when I put my lashes on, that the mascara from my own lashes is going to help hold them up. Otherwise, the lashes are going to be like this, and I want them to have a natural curve. So I just grab a cluster, and I dipped it in my duo glue. You can probably see there's a gray. Can you see that gray? That's the glue. And then I'm just going to place it. I start with the outside corner. I'm just going to place it. You don't have to do much to it. You can touch your own lashes to the lashes if you want. And again, y'all, let me just preface by saying the way these are um, Lilac Street lashes, the way they sell them, the way they advertise is with their, um, their glue that is meant to last for like several days. But I like to take my lashes off every night, so I use Duo Glue. And um, that means I can take them off every night. But if you were using the Lilac Street and you wanted to have a more permanent look, the glue is actually like a mascara. So you're gonna paint it on just like you would a mascara. And then you're actually gonna take the lash and you're gonna come up underneath and clamp it on. I, because I don't use their glue, I use you know ones that I can take off. I'm putting my lashes on top. So I just put them right on the right at my lash line um, on top. But again, if you watch their videos, you're going to see them put them underneath and then clamp them together um, with your own lash. It's got to be different, I guess. I have a lot of ladies that are like, I'm afraid to try, but I want to. Y'all, you can take them right off. There's nothing permanent about these, which is why I don't mind doing them because I, when I wash my face at night, I just take them off. They're, they're done. And then I can wash these lashes. I use these lashes again and again. I just pull the glue off. I actually will use these lashes until they lose their shape, which let me tell you, be honest, I used one set for probably four months. Of course, I wash them, so don't don't be thinking they're gross because I do wash them with their special little shampoo, but they kept their shape that long and that's me putting them on and taking them off every day and then pulling the little glue off the band and they kept their shape. So hooray, I was thrilled about um, how long those lasted. Okay, so that's one eye. That's it, y'all. I don't put any mascara on. Um, on the lashes once they're on just leave them alone okay so now we need some lips this is my favorite color it's whiskey it's down to nothing it's actually a eye pencil from urban decay so if you want to find this this don't go look in lip pencils look in the eyes it's called whiskey and i already have a lip conditioner on my lip um looks like that so I, I make sure you use something like that, y'all, because it'll make your lip line move a lot easier. And like I've said before, the reason why I like this pencil, it was actually um, a mistake. I didn't know I bought an eye pencil. But it was a beautiful mistake because it's more creamy than a lip pencil and it moves so I can blend it. The whole purpose of me lining my lips is not because this is the color I necessarily want. It's, um, I, I, I can't use just a regular, like if I use this shade, as pretty as it is, it's not gonna turn out like that on my lips. I just have too much color in my lips. So I use, I use this lip pencil to kind of balance out and then I kind of build and create a color from there. But 
I will tell you. Listen, that's a talent, y'all. I'm talking while doing my lips. Um, I will tell you this. If you wanted to just do this, take a blip brush, and because you have a lip conditioner on your lip, it's easy to move it. I'm just blending it, okay? Kind of in to the lip a little bit. And you actually could just use this as a shade and be good to go. But because I don't want to, I'm not want to, I'm not going to. Okay, so it's not perfect. I don't really care, it's just a base. You know what I'm saying? Just a base. Okay, so now I'm gonna use, oh my days today is her matte lipstick and the color is I think it's 808 anyway it's um just kind of a neutral it's that <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it on right on top I put a hair in there with it Okay, so it's just um, it's just a neutral, nothing fancy about it, nothing fancy at all. And then I think I'm gonna go with. Um, let me just show you all something. So this is from Runway Rouge, and it is um, they're a matte, kind of a shimmer. So here's what I usually do. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in the center. Just to lighten it up, okay. It smell like cake batter. Yum. Okay, so I have just a little bit on there, and then I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of gloss. This is cotton candy from Anastasia. I don't like a lot of gloss, so I'm just gonna use a little bit. So you see the whiskey wasn't really a major player in the game here. It just gave my lips a little bit of an outline. Now if I feel like whiskey's showing and I don't want it to, not hating on your whiskey, but I'm just gonna blend you out a little bit more. And there you go. So that is the face for the day. Um, not too crazy, but I tell you the best thing is it feels like skin. Like it's, my, my face feels like it can breathe, so it's not super heavy. If you guys have any questions, just message me in the comments below. I'd love to, I'd love to help you. Have a fun day, y'all.